Yeah, I mean, uh, this place cleared out really, really quickly. People were leaving by the third quarter. Uh, this is not how fans expected the night to go. People came in here hyped up. They were confident that they were going to sit at the garden and watch a sweep on the Jumbotron. People were having an absolute blast. It was a sold out crowd of about 16,000 people and they were wild to get the night started. But things took a turn early when the Celtics started falling apart in the second quarter. Uh, Things started getting a little quieter around here. And then by the third quarter, fans were getting up and leaving, just incredibly disappointed. I'm feeling disappointed, definitely. I thought they were going to be able to do it in four, but I have a feeling they're going to come home and do it in five. And that's OK. Yes, that's OK. I would have been so excited to see it, especially coming here for the watch party. It would have been so exciting. The fans we were so excited at first, but I have no doubt that we'll do it in the fifth game here at home. The crowd was insane. It was great. Um, it was almost like we were at the game. It really was. To get the night started, it truly felt like you were at an actual game with the players on the court and everything. It was really an incredible experience here for the watch parties. Uh, but the good news, the silver lining here is the Celtics, the series comes back to Boston. And so a lot of these fans are disappointed they won't witness uh, Banner 18 or, or the clinch here at the Garden. But they are saying that they're going to find a spot at a nearby bar on Monday, and they hope to watch a victory on Monday night. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Catherine, thank you. So that was uh, pretty quiet inside the Garden. Let's check outside the Garden now in Aerial Metropolis. You do at least have some fans behind you there, but not very excited, I imagine. Well, not very excited, Jamie. That's exactly it. Not exactly the fairy tale sweep ending that we were all hoping for. Catherine showed you inside the Garden. We are outside the Garden. You can see, as Catherine talked about, fans are streaming out of out of the garden. They've opened up Canal Street now. So the stragglers who wanted their money's worth to stay for the whole show, the whole game, could continue to watch. They're making their way out. But as Catherine talked about, honestly, fans have been leaving since halftime when it started to be clear that this was not the Celtics night. It really did feel like a real game in there. And even though the Celtics didn't pull out the win, fans say it's OK. This was the plan all along. They wanted the Seas to win at home anyway. So this is the ultimate plan. Monday is it, they say. I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's just one game. I mean, they're up three, so they're, they're bound to get one. But we'll see. Game five, it's on. Game five at home. We're all feeling confident. Disappointed fans here tonight. But many of us, I speak for everyone, I think, hope that even though tonight wasn't our night, Monday will be. We're live at the Garden, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9. Ariel, thank you. They certainly did not look like a championship team tonight, but perhaps Monday will be different. It's game five. They can win the banner on the parquet. You can watch the action all live right here on WMUR. Coverage starts at 730, tip time just after 830.